Mark here with Breathe Easy Eco Solutions. I'm a certified mold and asbestos inspector, and today we're going to talk about dehumidifiers and why it is important for you to have one in your home to prevent mold growth from occurring. Dehumidifiers are different from different manufacturers to different sizes and different ratings. Uh, people don't realize that dehumidifiers, like this one here, this portable dehumidifier, uh, they have ratings and they have ratings in pints per day on how much moisture they can remove from the air. So you may have a dehumidifier rated at 30, 50, 60, or even 70 pints per day. So why do you need a dehumidifier? Uh, mold growth in homes is likely occurred from elevated humidity and a lack of air movement. So having a dehumidifier in your home is a good idea. You wanna make sure it's properly rated. Uh, this one here is a 70 pint per day rated dehumidifier. Uh, and it would be recommended in a home approximately 2,500 square feet. Uh, you might wanna cut it down to about a 50 pint if you're looking at 1,000 to 1,500 square feet. Uh, and a small bachelor pad, uh, maybe you go with a, a 30 or 45 pint unit. Uh, now there are a lot of different variables that you need to look at. Some of those variables are, do you have a bathroom exhaust fan and is it properly working? Uh, do you have a kitchen exhaust fan? How many people are living in your house? Of course, the more people living in your house, uh, the more cooking is being done, the more showering is happening, and of course, the more breathing is happening. So that's going to elevate humidity levels in your home. Uh, the unit comes as is, and of course, there is a bucket in the front that you can remove and empty. Uh, but ideally, what you should be looking at here uh, is in the side somewhere on the newer units, you will have, in this case, there's a trap door. Uh, you can hook a garden hose uh, or even a hose from a washing machine, uh, find out what size of hose you need, uh, and it can drain into a floor drain, say in your laundry room. Uh, now this Frigidaire model here has uh, an easy extension on it, so you don't have to put it in and kind of fiddle with it. Uh, this here just goes in, comes with the unit, and screws right into that fitting and allows you to add your hose onto the end of it without any fumbling around. Uh, not all units come with this, uh, so you may not have it, but uh, you will need to pick up some sort of hose as most dehumidifiers don't come with that. So a good rule of thumb is to keep your relative humidity below 50%. That's because some molds actually start to grow at around 60%. So having your dehumidifier set to say around 45% moving into spring and summer will keep that damp basement a little bit drier. Uh, now, of course, you wanna couple that with good air movement. Uh, turning your furnace fan to the on position and having all of your vents throughout the house open to promote that air movement. Now, if you don't have a furnace, you have a boiler, uh, you have electric baseboard heaters, uh, you can simply use fans to have that air movement. Uh, this unit does have a built-in fan which does blow air around uh, and will move the air, but it's always best to have some other source of air ventilation, especially on exterior walls during the cold winter months when you should be dropping that relative humidity from 45 down to around 30 or 35%. This is because the high differential air temperature from outside to inside the exterior walls is quite substantial. So having that dryer is going to minimize any kind of condensation that may occur on exterior walls or windows. So it's always a good idea to move that furniture, those items, those beds, uh, or even boxes away from exterior walls during the winter months, uh, paying particular attention to closets, clothes, and stored items on top of shelves. Now maintaining these units is relatively simple. You have the drawer here that would open up on the front, and then you dump that. And that beep is just telling you, audio alarm, that the drawer is open. Pushing that in. Now sometimes with filters can be a little bit tricky. Uh, filters can be tucked up underneath in the front in some models. Some can have a panel along the side that you have to pull out. But all dehumidifiers should have some kind of filter. 
on this unit here, uh, it's located on the back. Uh, now simply just pulling this out, uh, it is a, a screen, an antibacterial uh, filter that you can wash out, vacuum first, wash out with soap and water, uh, let it air dry, and then just pop it back in. Now I recommend that you check this filter every time you check your furnace filter, uh, just to keep it on a schedule. Another question you may ask is, I've got an HRV, so why do I need a dehumidifier? Well, I've actually got an HRV in my 11-year-old home, uh, but I also have a dehumidifier, and they work really well together. HRVs, which I will be covering in another video, uh, they tend to work only during the winter months, uh, with the exception of using the fans uh, to exhaust ventilation during the summer months due to showering, bathing, and of course cooking. Now, air conditioning does drop relative humidity inside your house, but it is bound by temperature. You set the temperature, it comes on and shuts off at that level. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And until then, breathe healthy, breathe easy.